excellent artists. Last time I showed you how to draw using one point perspective techniques. Today we're going to use that idea to make another picture, uh, something maybe with a little more meaning for you. So grab your pencils, something with a straight edge, and your paper. Let's get started. All right, artists, I have a paper, I have my pencil, and you just need something with a straight edge. Now today I'm going to use uh, a pencil. It has a nice straight edge. Um, if your pencil is too small, you can use the side of a notebook like this. Uh, you could use the side of a box, um, like a cereal box, cracker box, even a pencil box. Uh, so find something with a straight edge. I noticed sometimes on your practice you were not using your uh, straight edge. Remember, a ruler works too, so if you have that, I know it seems faster and quicker not to use something with a straight edge just to draw your lines, but in the end, it does make a huge difference when you're drawing uh, with a straight edge. It looks a lot neater and nicer, and uh, you'll be much happier with your results. All right, so first today, um, I am going to put my vanishing point in a different place. I'm going to put it at the bottom of my paper, uh, near the bottom, just a little dot, right here. Remember, this is where all your lines are going to converge. They're going to meet up, intersect right at this point. You can only use one vanishing point for this picture. Um, if your lines are all going to a separate spot at the end, then you need to check your work. Today, what we're going to do, instead of using just shapes, we are going to use our initials. And you can use uh, your first initial for your name and your last initial for your last name. So you need to have at least two. Um, my initials are J, P. First name is Jackie, last name is Porter. So uh, J and P, but you can't just draw a straight, uh, just like I would normally, normally, I'll show you in the back, I would draw my, my J something like this, maybe sometimes put the line across the top and the P like this. The only thing about that, boys and girls, is it's not a shape, they're just lines. What we need to do is change these to shapes so that we can make them um, what, using our one point perspective technique. Now, if you feel like doing more initials, maybe you have a middle name or two last names and you need to do three initials, that's okay with me. So let me turn this back over to the side where my vanishing point is. And what I'm going to do is change these to box letters. If you prefer using bubble letters, that's fine. Um, it really doesn't matter. So you have the choice. You can use your eraser to draw your letters like this or, which is nice because they just brush away then, or if you don't have an eraser with you today, simply very lightly, and you're probably having trouble seeing that. And the reason I want it lightly drawn is I'm going to erase that later. I'm going to do my P, I'm leaving plenty of room, my letter P over here. These would make excellent gifts for a brother or sister, or mom and dad. Um, so if you're looking to give this as a gift, that'd be great. Now, what I have to do is change these into um, shapes. And so what I'm gonna do is I am going to draw lines around this, but instead of curve, if you want to curve, you can. Uh, but I'm gonna leave my ends of my letters boxed off. I never touched the letter that I drew first and I try to keep equal space. I like my box letters nice and thick so I leave plenty of room around that letter. And there's my J. Once you get a letter, if you drew your lines with pencil, and you can see why I drew it so lightly now, I can go back and erase. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with this letter. Because I have uh, an opening in here, I have to go on the inside. So if you're doing a capital letter A or another letter like an O with an opening, make sure you go around on the inside of that uh, letter two, just like I did on my letter P. Okay, so now I'm erasing all of those. The trick is to get the corners, this is part of the reason I like using um, 
the block letters. I'm gonna do the corners closest to my vanishing point first. So I'm gonna start with this corner and I'm going to line it up with my vanishing point. Okay, and I'm gonna do this corner the rule is you can draw from any corner as long as you're not going through the letter. Now, you may have, if you're like me, you may have letters with a curve. And remember the rule is if you have a letter with a curve, you go from the outside edge. You know I'm gonna turn mine upside down. It makes it easier to see what I'm doing. I can see my edge better than if I had it the other way. So don't be afraid to turn your paper around if it's more comfortable. I can't go from this corner because it's really just lined up there. This corner, if I did it from here, if I check it, it would go through. I'm gonna check all of my corners. Yep, it, they, these two corners, these three actually would go right through my letter. So I'm gonna leave those alone. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my J and the bottom of my J is all curved. So I'm gonna to try to find the outside edge of my curve. Do the bottom part first because it's closest to my vanishing point. And I have a corner here, let's see. Now this corner, if I draw right here, this part is not going through my letter just the rest would. So if I have something like this, I line it up and draw just that part that would be on the outside of my letter. I think the same thing will happen up here with my top of my J. Ooh, it almost lines up with that first one. Let's check this corner. And this one can go all the way to the vanishing point. Well, I think that looks neat. Now, if you want to add some other shapes in here um, as well, maybe you would like to add a star or a heart, or maybe just a random made up shape. It's kind of like a weird looking star. Then you can use the same techniques Draw to the vanishing point, but not through your shapes. Always line it up with the vanishing point. Here's a corner. Just treat the letter like a shape. Now, next week, when, I want you to save this paper. And if you need to restart and do a different design, that's up to you. Um, I want you to save this paper. Next week, I'm going to show you a special way to color this. I'll give you some choices on that. Um, I feel like I need something up here. I'll have to think about that. Um, make sure when you're done today, <laughs> I already have my initials, but make sure you sign your name on the back, okay? Save this paper for next week, and then um, we will add some color but in a unique way. We're not just gonna color this in solid. So don't try to get ahead today. Just save this for next week. All right, artists, I can't wait to see what you've come up with today. Um, remember, using something with a straight edge is super important on a one point perspective. So I'd like you uh, to do that if you can. All right, if you don't have a straight edge, just let me know when you are uh, adding your response. All right, see you next time. Bye.